This is the Udo Hing reads this stuff profiler for oboe. You can see the profile that I'm using has a more definite tip to find right here. Definite back in it. And as you can see, we're using the USA longer scrape. We have here a reed that we have tied. We tie all of our reeds at the same length, find out what the better length is, then I clip them at 70 and a half to finish your reed at about 70. Place it on the little holder here for the tube. Slide it onto the holder. There are three marks on the holder, which you can should able to see there. We're going to put that into the middle of, the drop right below the second one. You can determine how long you want your tip by where you place that. Once it's on there, we engage this little holder that helps to keep the reed from sliding and also tighten this so that this whole thing is now set. You'll notice a blade that we have here and we have the micrometer which gives us the thickness of the tip in the entire reed. This can, is very accurate unlike some others that we've seen this can be turned. It can also be adjusted uh, to the thickness that's preset on this. So we start placing the reed on here and we start processing the reed by following the reed this way. Gradually work the reed. This little handle I would ordinarily be using, it's a little easier, but to make it to where you can see, I don't want my hand to go out in front of everything. So we do this and we move, gradually move the reed about the thickness of each one of the passes. Work it back and forth. I try not to take too much off at a time, more like you would scraping with a regular knife. And you can see it takes it off. The advantage to the profiler is, it, I don't know about how you feel, but so many times I'd start with a reed and I get there and then I get there and the, the length is the wrong length or I clip the tip in the corner. Uh, I don't have its consistency. I do this for my own personal reeds, but I also do this particularly for our commercial reeds because this allows me to make every reed exactly the same length, the same tip lengthening. Thickness is exactly the same. And now you notice nothing is coming off the reed. So we take and pull this little thing back here that holds it, this curve. Undo the screw. Pull this out, turn it over, slide it back on there. Make sure it's back at the same exact position as the other side. Tighten the screw again and put the curve here to hold the reed into place and do the same exact process on the second side. Now this will follow the template so it's very easy to use. You don't have to have much pressure at all. As a matter of fact, you can, if you see what I'm doing here is very light. Just moving that and letting the blade do the work. Same thing here now, we finished the read off and I want to go back and work a little bit on that tip just to make sure it's set. Open this up with like this, unscrew the thing and pull it out, take the read off. Now you can see the read, see the center line, see the tip. Let's see, we can see that, yeah, you can see the tip there now defined pretty well. And then we have the read that Take it off the machine. You can hear the upper crow. We hear the lower crow. And then we can test it.
and at that point I would adjust the reed for my instrument and what I want to play and of course the differences in the type of cane. 